All right, this next pro tip covers a data viz tool in Excel that I'm a huge fan of called Sparklines. And what I'm going to demonstrate is how we can quickly visualize patterns and trends in our data using these Sparkline tools. So if you're not familiar with what Sparklines are all about, essentially they're tiny little charts that live within the confines of a single cell. And because they're designed to be so small and minimalist, you won't have all of the same formatting options that you would with a traditional chart or graph, but that said, they can be a great way to quickly and subtly visualize patterns in your data. So for this demo, we're gonna look at monthly sales volume against goal for five different sales reps. And the idea will be to quickly visualize the seasonal patterns and sales trends for each of these salespeople right there in the cells in column O. So to do that, we can head to our insert menu, choose one of the three standard spark line options line column or win loss in this case we'll choose column and then we'll simply confirm where the data lives and where the spark line should be placed and just like that it will insert these miniature column charts right there within cells 04 5 6 7 and 8 that give a very clear picture of how each salesperson has trended throughout the year so with a few simple formatting adjustments, we're able to show positive values as green, negatives as red, the highest value or highest total for the year in that bright green color to kind of pop a bit more. So as you can see, this is a great way to pack a ton of information and a ton of insight into a very, very small amount of real estate in your worksheet. So a ton of different use cases here. Uh, for one, you can embed simple line or column spark lines to show trends at a glance like we're about to do in this demo. One thing that I like to do personally is create KPI cells that show a key metric of value with a spark line in the background to kind of show how that value has trended over time. So let's jump into our pro tip workbook and add some custom spark lines. All right, so once you have your pro tip workbook open, I'm gonna look at the visualization tips here in yellow and you're looking for specifically the adding spark lines demo. It's a two star demo. Go ahead and link right out to that yellow tab. And here we've got a sales data by month against goal for five different sales reps. We've got Skeeter McGavin and Spandex, Perd Happily, Lloyd Christmas, and of course our good friend Stan Pancake. Now it's pretty clear right off the bat that we really can't discern any sort of meaningful pattern or insight here just by looking at the raw data. It's very, very difficult. So we're going to need some sort of visual aid. And there's no right or wrong approach here. You could enter or add a traditional line chart with five series in it. Uh, but in this case, I think it's a good opportunity to practice something like spark lines where we can add a good kind of visual indicator right here within the worksheet cells. So the easiest way to add a spark line is to simply select all of the data that you want to visualize. In this case, cells C4 through N8. Head to your insert tab. You'll see the spark line group right here with three different options, line, column, and win loss. Let's go ahead and start with a line spark line. It's gonna open up this dialog box that says, all right, your data lives in C4 through N8. Where do you wanna drop those spark lines? And in our case, we want 04, through 08 and press OK. And just like that, it's populated these nice little mini line charts right there within the cells. And even just that one step has helped us understand or really see what kind of seasonal patterns are going on here. It looks like Stan had a pretty rough start to the year, kind of clawed his way back up, built all the way up to Q3 and then kind of fell back for the last quarter of the year. And one thing you'll notice here is that if you select any one of these spark lines, they'll kind of all get grouped together by default. And if you don't want that to be the case, for instance, if you want to change a formatting rule or the chart type, but just for one spark line, you can go into your spark line tools. You can select all of the spark lines and click ungroup. That will allow you to edit each one individually. I actually prefer to keep them grouped in most cases, just because generally speaking, if I'm making formatting changes or changing the chart type. That's something that I want to do kind of universally, not for individual spark lines. So within the spark line tools menu, let's see what different design options we've got. 
If our raw data changed, we could actually edit the source data here. Right now we're looking at a line chart, but we could change that to a column for instance, which kind of creates the same pattern, or a win-loss, which essentially just converts any positives or any negatives to the same maximum bar height. And really that's just if you want to simplify things and only pay attention to positive versus negative as opposed to the actual value itself. Now in this case, I think column's gonna be our best bet, so let's stick with that chart type. Here in the show group, we can identify which specific types of points to draw attention to, like the highest point of the month, or the lowest point, or the first or the last. Now in this case, I don't really want those options, but I do really wanna draw attention to the negative points. And from here, we can go into different styles, Maybe we want something like a green red to really feature that positive negative difference. And then finally, we can customize the colors here with these options. So maybe we want a darker green and our marker color for negatives. It's a bright red. Maybe we want that a little bit darker. And then if we change our mind and we actually do want to highlight the high point, we can go ahead and customize the color of that high point as well. And I think this bright green actually looks pretty good. Um, so with just a few clicks of the mouse, we've added some interesting insight here and created a visualization that really does tell a story at a very quick glance. You know, so you can see that most of these salespeople had a really good August, or in Anne's case, September. Looks like Stan had a very tough start to the year. He was negative for the first four months. Uh, Anne pretty much crushed it. She only had one negative month where she missed her goal. Um, and that was in March. So these are the types of stories and insights that Sparklines, especially ones like this, are very well equipped to tell, even though they're relatively simple and simplistic tools. So let's go ahead and select one of these, get back into our Sparkline tools. And the last options here for axis, you can customize general versus date axes. If we wanna show the axis, it's just gonna draw kind of a horizontal line uh, between the positives and negatives there. And you've got some other options here, like you can set max and min for a single spark line or for all of them as a group. So a lot of really interesting options here, but I think that's going to do it for us. That's telling the story we need. It's simple, it's clear, and it's powerful. So there you have it, crash course on using spark lines in Excel.